I will show Cicada molting for the final time, becoming an adult, pretty much in its entirety. But first I want to provide you with some valuable information about Cicadas. However, if you would rather just skip what I have to say, <sighs> they don't want to hear me, then you can fast forward to this time. I love cicadas. I think there are probably a lot of people out there who hate them. The noise cicadas make all summer, the fact that they buzz and go crazy when you touch them, all that stuff. But I've always been fascinated by them. And before I continue, let me say a couple of things. Some people have heard that cicadas only emerge from the earth every 17 years. And while yes, some species of cicada, called periodical cicadas, only emerge every 13 or 17 years, many North American cicada species are annual, meaning they will emerge every year. And there are nearly 200 species in North America, ranging in size from large to tiny. Also, cicadas are not locusts. I repeat, cicadas are not locusts. Locusts are various species of shorthorn grasshoppers. Again, cicadas are not locusts. <laughs> You may as well call them kangaroos. And while I understand that some people may find the near constant calling of cicadas in late summer annoying, I find it enduring. Not only does it remind me of the great summers of my youth, but also of summer fun with my kids. Cicadas spend the majority of their lives underground as nymphs. Nymphs have strong front legs for digging and excavating chambers close to roots, where they feed on xylem sap. Many live underground for about two to nine years, where they molt several times. When the time is right, they emerge from the ground and molt for a final time, then mate, and then die. Upon emerging from the ground, usually at night, a cicada nymph will find a good place in which to cling. It will cling to a variety of surfaces, from plants, to posts, to car tires. The vast majority will molt on a tree trunk or branch. Once they lock onto a surface, the adult will begin to loosen itself from the old skin then push its way out the back of what is now a shell of its former self. Once it pushes back as far as it can, the adult will then use its front legs to cling to the shell and allow its wings to dry before finally flying away to look for a mate. You can't, you can't molt on my hand or my arm. Let me find you a place. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.